Okay, I get that, Bobby. All right, next question, number two. Uh, with the contractual re-signing of uh, TNA talent coming out, check out the Rockstar Spud contract signing with Dixie on Impact 3 Season 5 if you haven't seen it mm -hmm. yet. Hmm. Who is the absolute really number done. one signing that TNA needs to secure as soon as possible? Uh, he says an argument can be made for the top merch seller in Hardy, but Aries would be my main purely if I was in Gubrek's shoes. Uh, I don't care if... You... I think he means uh, John Big Gaborik. I'm not familiar. Burger. The guy the who guy was on Tough, Tough Enough. Oh, the guy from Tough Enough. That's right. I heard he was, he was down there now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Everybody knows yeah. him as the guy from Tough Enough. I don't care if he isn't in the doghouse or not. Aries is a much watch, but uh, be it in the ring or on the mic. Yeah, I think he's one of the guys, you know. I, yeah, I heard about this. So so they're they're re-signing the long-term contracts, re-securing their, their talent. I heard Rockstar. I heard uh, Robbie E, I think, was in there. Um, and Gunner. And Gunner. Um, God I know you guys it. hate Gunner, but really? I think I think Gunner's good for them. No, no. No, he's not. He's not good for anybody. <laughs> no, sorry. Gunner is good Gunner if they is want to stick to working all. in the South. Okay, if okay. If you want to stick to working in the South, Gunner is great for them. Although, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. we did watch the uh, the Rockstar Spuds contract signing on Impact 365. It is adorable. It made Mad Mike better. It is absolutely adorable. It made me tear up a little I bit. really hope yes. that EC3... A little bit. I, I know he's probably not not probably up for a renewal or anything, but uh, EC3 I think has proven. Himself. Oh, he is the future he of their needs, company. Oh my God, yes, he needs it right he, now. He he should be to the future of TNA now as AJ Styles was to the future of it ten years ago. Do you remember when Mr. Kennedy was going to be rumored to be Vince's son? Yes. Yeah. And how and how much potential that could have had? Yes. <laughs> TNA has that in Ethan Carter. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can see it. Uh, I can see it. A name that uh, two names that have been rumored to not be signing with TNA should be signing with TNA. Bad influence. Yeah, what's going on with this? So uh, they're just not. They're not. No, they're you know not what? If the, anything, if TNA is going to continue to misuse Christopher Daniels like it has for twelve years, yeah, mm -hmm. he shouldn't resign. He well, shouldn't resign. I think the other thing is, uh, as AJ's showing, there's life after TNA. There's life in between the TNA and the WWE. Whether you know, doing ROH, doing this other stuff, he's going to Japan. He's doing just fine. He can he can demand probably a higher dollar for doing a lot less than he did with TNA. Well, um, Bad Influence also has a comic book coming out. Yeah, they got. Oh yeah, yeah Christopher Daniels is I'm all over is all over IGN. I think with the comic book stuff, right? I'm super super excited about it because. Uh, one of my favorite books that was canceled a while back, but it's now coming back, was Tiny Titans. Mm -hmm. That's the same people that's doing the Bad Influence comic nice, book. Nice, hmm. you nice. Know, I'm it, super excited But it's about also it. it's also a lot of these guys realizing, doing the Colt Cabana route and saying, I'm going to do more, even if I'm in TNA, I'm going to do something else as well. I'm this. It's not a straight line anymore for a lot of these guys. Uh, Zima? For instance, he's actually taking off. It sounds like pretty decent in uh, the DJ circuit. In uh, thank you, yeah, the DJ circuit in Chicago. Uh, I think he even got to uh, be on the cover of a DJ magazine. So, I mean, this is a legitimate thing that he's had interest in for a while, and um, and he's and he he's, gets to do it for TNA too because he DJ. Yeah, and now it's crossed over into this pre-party thing that they're doing. Right. Which is incredible, and, and raises his stock there with the company, you know. I, and I hope TNA keeps him, you know, uh, in some regard. It was good to see him in like a match with the, with the tag team titles on the line, although in a weird way. A couple weeks ago, um, he's involved with some par fairly significant stuff. His character is evolving uh, more than I've seen on the indies. Uh, so, so good for him. I think with. Um... Zima's character being a DJ, they could easily bring in Bomber and have him tag. I could see that. I could see that. Um, and and I know. I mean, and Fasad is one of those guys that goes to all the camps and everything. And 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 I think, uh, unfortunately, I don't think TNA would be very good with him with merch. Because TNA is not really, really good with anyone. With no, merch, no. Sorry. I mean, he'd have I a mean, good. Willow. All he would be doing is bringing what he already does over 
to yeah. their merch. Uh, I think Sorb, what what did we see? This is going to be a crossover for indie for indie man show. But what did we what did you see in White Oak? That was facades. That the you gi- thought the, I should the little buy. the little gi thing that he had, the like the little karate yeah. gi. I think it was like a the, kid's the, the karate best. gi. Yeah. You you don't think people are gonna buy a facade vest? He's. I, you know, but if he goes, I don't think he's not going to keep the be able to keep the name. He is too smart. He that guy. The bomber, look, look the at bomber the bomber won't stick. Look at what he's. Well, well, he's not even that right now. He's just facade. Facade. That's yeah. it. He's not the bomber. He's not anything else. He's just facade. But that guy gets merchandising. Gets the gimmick tables. Um, you can see it when you look over at what he has. And and if he goes to TNA, you know what are they going to do to that brand? Basically, right? 